Nothing says summer more to us than tomatoes do, and making tomato sugo is as much about tradition as it is about the produce. That's beautiful smell and that's a nice, nice taste. That's for Chris. First you need to start by sourcing some long neck bottles and this should start well before the sugar day commences so definitely invite some friends around for a little bit of extra help. When preserving you want to reduce the risk of contamination so the first step here is rinsing out all the bottles with a sterile solution. When you're sourcing the tomatoes you want to make sure you get the ripest tomatoes and almost on the verge of going off because it's the sugars in the tomatoes that bring out that sweetness and richness in the sauce. Now if you don't feel like they're ready, you can always leave them out for a couple of days in the sun until they're just about right. Mm. When you're preparing the tomatoes, just look out for blemishes on the inside, particularly when they're really ripe, there may be some rotten bits and you want to make sure that you cut all these out because they can spoil the sauce. Once you've prepared them, it's time to cook them. Years ago we used to put them straight into the boiling water, but there was always a problem with getting too much moisture with the tomatoes when you pulled them out. So now we use just really a glorified pillowcase, which helps drain the water out just before we process them. Okay, make a good one. Once the tomatoes have been cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes, it's time to bring them over to the pulping station. Now on the pulping station we have a tricker trucker, that's the technical term for it, which then processes the tomatoes. On one side you get the pulp and the skin, which you then reprocess a few times to get all the juice out of. On the other side you collect all the good stuff that then goes to the bottling station. Lovely. Well, need salt. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice. Now that the sauce has all been processed, it's time to bottle. So in each of the bottles we put about two to three basil leaves just to infuse the flavour through the sauce as it sits and fill within two to three centimetres of the top. And the final step is to put the bottles into a boiling pot of water. The idea here is to stop any secondary fermentation from occurring. I take to have a cheers. Cup. Cheers. To have a more salt. Okay. Might be you don't like it. Some you don't like it. That's good. Next year, remember, Uran. I probably will be here. <laughs>